Today I want to share with you guys how to install a GUI desktop on a Ubuntu server uh, specifically on version 2022.04 and 20.04 um, Version 18, I did not get it to work um, so I gave up on that All right. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to run through all this command um, So the app command is just updating and then we're going to run the task uh, selection installation package and we're going to run the task to see what package are there um, and we're going to run the installation with slim uh, which is the login management uh, package and we're going to install the vnc um, server package as well so i'm using tiger here and then lastly we're going to install run the xrdp script from griffin um, so that is the main thing that i found to get it to work with um, remote desktop all right and you guys will see after this all right so let's go this and run uh, the update. Okay, so the update is done. Um, now we're gonna run the installation of tasks. Select. Click yes to continue. Okay, so now we're gonna run task select list. Uh, basically, it's gonna list what all the packets available. All right, you guys don't have to do this step. Um, you can just skip this. All right, so here's the step: package or task, whatever you want to call it, that's available. All right, so what we want to do is we want to install the genome desktop right here. All right, and I did other desktop version, whatever you guys can choose, whatever you guys want. Okay, so the next step is we're just going to run sudo task select and it will give you this screen right here. All right, and you're going to use your up and down arrow to navigate through it. And I want to use the genome and hit space to select, All right, and then hit the tab key. To get into the OK selection and then hit the enter key to run the whole installation. So this whole thing is going to install the uh, genome desktop for Ubuntu and it's going to take a while at least like I guess right here say eight minutes. So you go guys uh, go get a coffee or something. All right now it's 18 minutes. All right so break time and um, I'll come back on this. All right, so now this thing is done. Um, as you can see here, it's completed. And we're going to move up to the next step, which is installing the um, Slim, the login manager. Put yes. All right, so what you want to do here is here the display login manager section. Um, so hit tab or down arrow, hit down arrow and then hit tab to go to OK and then hit enter to select Slim. So Slim is basically like from what I read is that it's the lightest package, so it doesn't take up a lot of resource. And here it's just saying what um, service you want to restart. All right, so hit tab or you can hit enter. Hit tab to go OK and hit enter, then it restart. All right, so now we got that installed, and the next thing is the the VNC server installation. Yes. Then just leave it as default, or you just check it. Um, and then hit OK. All right, so that's done. And um, now you can run the command, uh, you, what you call it? VNC server, All right? So you can run this command to see what is running or not. VNC 
server dash list to see any service is running or not. Oh, typo VNC. So nothing is running right now. All right. So if you want to use the VNC, um, what do you call it? Client to log in, then you have to spin up a VNC session. So to do that is you have to do VNC, right? And then space dash local host and then no. So basically it's saying like don't allow the local host to log in and then the VNC will able to go log into this. That's my understanding. All right. So uh, and hit enter and then it will ask you for a password and put in any password you want and then verify it again. And then it asks you in the view mode password, just put no. And now it should be up. So if you do a list VNC server command dash list, it will show you that the display is up right here on the one terminal one. And then there's the port. So that is the default default port for you to log in if you're using VNC. Alright. So the tool that I use is a tiger vnc viewer so you can just go and google tiger vnc all right then it will take you to the site and then just go to the vnc view i uh, not this to click on tiger and just read it and then they say they release it on the github page so go to the github page and download it or you can use type vnc all right so that's here it is and then it the binary source is at the source forge.net all right so just go there so once you get to this page right you don't want to download this all right you don't want to download you just want to look for the viewer all right so go down to here in this section uh, VNC 64 viewer depend what you on um, if you on the window then get the VNC 64 bit uh, viewer I think that's a 64 bit um, and if you're on the Mac then you can get the Mac let me just get this one and then this will load All right, so I'm just gonna click that, and there you go. So this is what does it look like? And uh, the icon, this basically is an execute file. You don't have to install anything. All right, and you're gonna put in your IP address. So my IP address is what is it? Ten. That one. Eight one. That two. That one. And then you have to do the, the colon, double colon for the port. So double colon 5091, 5901. All right, and you're going to connect. See, and then it's going to prompt you for the password that when you put it in. Okay. And here it is. All right. So that is how you get your desktop using accessing with a VNC viewer okay all right so that's pretty much the desktop uh, using VNC viewer so but if you want to use remote desktop okay um, you go to this site Griffin IT library and I will put the link in the description you can read through this and what the script is uh, and then investigate what the script does but in high level is that Basically, it runs through all the configuration for X uh, RDP uh, package and then give it permission and then all the key and all that stuff. So that was the main issue that I have when trying to install the GUI and then try to connect to it. Okay, so just scroll down to the page and then download the latest one. The latest code is right here. So here's a zip file. All right, so just do download that down and then upload it. Um, into your server follow the direction right here and make sure to put in the download directory okay so once you have your desktop installed right you're gonna see right here the download directory down here right so that's mean when you spin up the VNC server it will 
all this will populate. Okay. All right. So to get this script, I already downloaded the script down already. Okay. Um, right here. All right, and I'm just going to copy all this and go to my server and cd into the download directory. All right, and I'm going to vim. Uh, I want to rename the script afterward. Uh, what's that file called? So basically, you have to follow the exact um, instruction here. All right, or else the script on the error out, and the script will tell you when it's erroring out. All right, and then change shmod this to give it execution. All right, and now you want to run this. So you're running this as um regular user do not run this at root user as well and there you go and then it's going to ask you okay um select whatever your display installation was so i install genome so i will select number four right and put four and hit enter And then it will populate for you okay all right so now the final step is that you have to change the password of um, your regular user right so let's say you let's create another user all right let's add user uh, let's say rocket let's go to root and ask this user rocket Put in a password. And just leave everything blank. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to try to connect to this box with RDP. All right. Remote desktop. So my server will be 144. Oh, and first. Um, Make sure to change your display resolution or else it's going to be like over way too big. So to do that is you just go to this right here, show options and then hit display and then change the size of resolution of the screen. And then you can choose the color bit and all that stuff. Okay. And I'm going to hit connect. And if you see this screen right here, that's mean it's not going to connect. Um, it did not pick up the certification. So you're going to have to reboot the server. Okay, so let's just reboot the server. And give it a minute to come back up. Okay, it's back up. So let's try it again. See, so when it display this certification, that means it's gonna connect uh, successfully. All right, and now you're gonna get this prompt screen to ask for your credential. And you're gonna put in uh, rocket, and then the password, and hit okay. And it's gonna take a minute to load the whole desktop. Right there. All right, so that's how you get uh, to connect with the RDP client. All right, so there, this is your desktop. You hit activity and all that, and show application. All right, guys. So that's how you install the GUI interface on for the Ubuntu server and. If you guys please do me a favor, hit the like and the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and put a comment down below. Um, 
So I really appreciate you guys and I'll see you guys later.